Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my May favorites and I'm gonna get started with beauty and with an item that I purchased after seeing another YouTuber, Michelle Wang is her name. Um, she's Michelle with one L for anyone who's interested, I'll leave her information down below. And uh, she's a beauty YouTuber, I love her channel, I love all of her makeup videos and um, I got obsessed with this product after seeing um, it featured in one of her videos and it's called the Brush Book from Isom. And I did do um, put up an Instagram post when I received this showing you, which I'll show you now, kind of how my things fit inside. I ordered this for travel. I'm gonna be taking it on a trip with me and I will do a review video after I've had a chance to really use it for travel. But um, it's such an amazing case. It is um, a wipeable or cleanable surface. It is a hard case, but it has sort of a soft, um, I think it's neoprene outer shell and it's got this little handle in the back or this little strap so that when you have the case open you can put your hand back there and kind of hold it up um, like so and be able to get in and out of it. It's probably a makeup artist's dream. For me it's perfect for my everyday essentials and I may end up using this even after I travel. So I'll give you just a quick look at how it kind of holds. These are my day-to-day -day items that I have been using all the time. I'm gonna pull out a few of my favorites for this month to show you. Um, but you have this clear sort of um, pouch over here where you can just store your makeup and then a whole bunch of different compartments for brushes and there's a huge compartment in the back where you could definitely put more makeup, more tools, all kinds of things. And I love that it zips up into a hard case because I can kind of put it at the bottom of my suitcase and nothing's going to get damaged, everything will sit flat and I absolutely am in love with this. So getting into a few of my beauty products that are in here that are definitely not only my favorites, but things that I use over and over again, um, month after month, year after year. The two big favorites for this month in particular, since we have sort of come into spring and I've really lightened up on my makeup routine and for some reason this is dirty because something else in here got on it, but this is my <laughs> Bobbi Brown Nude Finish Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 15. I have it in the shade Medium. And this is what I've been using every day on my face and I absolutely love this. Now it doesn't have a super high SPF, so I will apply additional SPF underneath if I am gonna be spending time in the sun, but day to day just going out to work and being very having limited exposure to sun, this is what I wear. Um, in addition to that, another product that I have been absolutely loving ever since I ordered it, it is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. This is um, what I have been using on my eyes as well as on my um, kind of cheekbones and I've been using the bronzer and the highlight. I don't really contour, I use the darker color more as a con more as a bronzer and I use the highlight just a little bit on the high points of my cheeks and I love using it on my eyes as well. This has been a keeper for me and I'm absolutely thrilled that I finally ordered this. And then my go-to lipstick for this month, which I am wearing right now, is my Charlotte Tilbury's Very Victoria in the Matte Revolution formula. This is an absolutely beautiful, I would call it a deep nude tone. It's got a little bit of, um, a purplish pink sort of undertone to it, but it's really more of a brownie nude and it is just the perfect formula for when you want something matte but creamy, not gonna dry out your lips, and it's just a great everyday color uh, for spring and going into summer. And in terms of fragrance, the fragrance I have been absolutely loving this month is Tom Ford's Soleil de Positano. This is such a beautiful scent coming into spring and summer. It is definitely a floral, it's a little bit sweet and very light, very much a daytime scent. You could definitely wear it in the evenings, especially when it's really kind of warm and a little bit muggy here in the climate I live in, but um, beautiful scent for daytime and something that I have been getting a ton of use out of this month. And I've got a few jewelry favorites this month. Uh, my mother-in-law traveled to China and brought me back these beautiful pearl studs that I have been wearing nonstop since I received them. They're so me, I've been alternating them on and off with my diamond studs and I like earrings that are no fuss, um, just wear and go and <laughs> don't have to worry even about matching it to your outfit and I feel like pearls right now are huge, they are everywhere and I am just absolutely in love with these earrings. And the other jewelry piece I'm wearing also sort of a sentimental item is a ring that I received 
um, from my grandmother that is a white gold uh, ring with this beautiful pearl in the center. And I had reserved this ring for basically formal occasions. I kind of wore it as a cocktail ring, even though it really only ever fits on uh, my pointer finger, but I love it and it's very sentimental to me. It means a lot. And like I said, pearls are so big right now. And so it has really kind of forced me out of, um, for, or forced this ring out of hiding. And I am definitely getting a ton of use out of it right now. And I have a few shoe favorites this month that I have been wearing on heavy rotation. The first ones are my Miller sandals from Tory Burch. These are in the uh, leopard print, as you can see in the patent leather. I have three pairs of these now. These are the newest of the three and um, I just love them. I think they're so comfortable. They can kind of dress up or dress down an outfit depending on what you wear them with. And um, they just kind of work with everything. For me, leopard is a neutral. I really wanted a pair of leopard slides. And when I came across these, I thought these would be the perfect um, alternative. And I think they are just so easy to wear. Like I said, um, I never had any breaking in time with these. A lot of people have asked me if the uh, patent leather is comfortable. I've never had the leather pair. The patent pair has never cut up my feet. They have been super comfortable from day one, but I would imagine the leather, if you're alternating between the two, is even more comfortable, the softer leather, um, but these have been great. And I will say with the patent leather ones, um, I have them in beige and I have them in, or nude, and I have them in black. And both of those look like they're brand new and I've had them for probably three or four years now so love these can't get enough of them definitely a favorite for the month and my other pair of shoes that I cannot take off my feet are my Gucci Prince Down loafers in the red color I have been wearing these kind of non-stop um, especially on Fridays when I have casual Friday at work I have been throwing these on with a blazer and a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and I just think they dress up any outfit uh, they are so, so comfortable, which I knew from how much I've worn my black ones, and now the red ones are finally getting their due. So really, really loving these and so happy I got another pair. And last but not least, the handbag that has been my favorite of the month would have to be the one that I was sent from Teddy Blake. This is my Teddy Blake Cara Saffiano 9 inch in the beautiful gray color. Uh, for those who didn't see my unboxing on this, I think it was the last video I uploaded and um, you will catch that I was really pleasantly surprised by how beautiful this bag is. I just think it's stunning. Um, I did a true unboxing, so it was the first time I had seen it and the quality of this bag is amazing. I really think it is just the perfect style bag, perfect addition to my collection and perfect for spring going into summer. So that would have to be my handbag favorite for the month. So that is it for my May favorites. I will leave some information down below on everything I've talked about. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon in my next one. Have a great day. Bye.